And, you know, we have a situation where VAT is, well, in Ireland, is at one of the highest rates in the whole of Europe. I put it to the Taoiseach and to the Minister for Finance. Have they even gone to Europe to look for a derogation to reduce VAT in this time of need? Neither Fianna Fáil or Fianna Gael have gone to Europe to even ask them, can they reduce uh, VAT in this state? If you, if you look at the, the price of a litre of fuel at the moment, nearly 60% of the price at the pumps people are paying to get to work is actually going to government in the form of taxation. It's, a, it's an incredible situation. And the government could help uh, people in, in that regard. Public services in this country are very expensive compared to other countries. So, for example, a monthly uh, travel pass on public transport uh, in Ireland is far higher than it is in most other European cities. It's about three times what it costs in Brussels, for example, uh, to get around on public transport. If we meant business when it came to reducing the cost of public transport, that would directly affect and help uh, people get by. But if they don't do that, what we're going to see, and I've been speaking to families already, one family has told me that they're not having as many showers on a weekly basis to try to, to cut back on, on electricity. Some people are telling me they're not putting their heat on as much as they used to to cut back on electricity. We need the government to get serious about this. Not 100 euros sometime in, in the future. That money needs to be focused on low and middle income earners. The idea of giving it to high income earners at this time of need is wrong.